Corey in the house guys and today I wanted to talk to you about tribes uh, how to build one how to communicate with one how to connect people and uh, how to capitalize on it in whatever way you chose to whether that be uh, financially um, through you know just linking up with like-minded people or however it is that you would like to to utilize such a thing but I first want to start off by telling you a little story and why I wanted to make this video in the first place uh, so I was watching the I was watching preseason basketball last night and uh, for some reason I just got reminded of um, of my grade school days and how after a big game or a game period whether it be Monday night football or uh, the hometown team lost the game or even talking about uh, other schools teams and how they won and how other schools are doing or how our school is doing and we would always use a certain terminology so after the game they would be like we won we did this we did that and I was never one of those kids who uh, used we when I referred to my favorite team I would always uh, say they so I would ask you know why do you say why do you say we you know you're not on the field playing you can't you don't have any direct control of what goes on the field or what goes on on the court you don't have any control of that so why is it we and a lot of people get offended by that but when you really think about it uh, this this we phenomena is uh, basically it's it's something more instinctual something that's more ancient and primal and uh, it basically goes back to uh, survival uh, you know, back when we were, uh, you know, when we were cavemen, or even before that, when uh, human beings came around, or whatever time you believe that might be, I don't know your beliefs, but uh, we had to rely on each other, because after all, man is a social animal, and if you were alone, you were more vulnerable, you were more likely to die off, whereas if you were in a group, and you know the lion came around you would be more likely to survive you can find food you had security uh... we relied on a community or a group for our well-being for our survival at the very basic level and so the reason why i think people say we is because they want to be um, they want to feel a part of something like there was this study done by a by a man he wrote a report uh, I can't remember his name right now, but this is back in like uh, 76. And uh, basically, what he did was he uh, documented uh, psychology majors from seven major universities and um, what they wore the next day after a football game. And what he found was that people were more likely to wear their school colors uh, face paint, shirts, pants, whatever. Uh, more so after a win than they did after a loss and he found that the reason why they did this was because they wanted to feel like they were a part of something and when he asked the psychology students you know why why do that why why wear your colors after a win or when they lost he would ask you know why aren't you wearing your colors today they would say after they won we won we won or after a loss they would say we lost uh, as as a uh, to to justify their their actions on whether or not they wore school colors or not and so like I said it's a basic it's a basic instinct when we talk about um, when we belong to a group and even though we are not directly involved in the results we still associate ourselves our uh, ideals we align all of that stuff with the group instead of um, uh, being independent and so this is why um, you know something like you know Apple and Microsoft they they do as far as um, the mobile market let's say or the or software in general the software market they do the exact same thing the only difference is uh, the way they chose to uh, to navigate this technology that's the only difference but they both do exactly the same things but yet you have the, the fanboys, you have Apple people, and then you have the Windows people who will never switch sides no matter what because of the the culture that was created around that. And that's what you have to do. You have to go out, you have to find a group of people who believe what you believe, who um, 
share your ideas, who share your ideals, who um, who just want to connect, and you have to connect them. And then after you connect them, you do whatever you want with them. Uh, there's these two guys, and maybe you heard of them, maybe you haven't, but their names are David Wood and David Sharp, and they have a massive, massive tribe that's uh, basically turned into a movement at this point. And basically the way they did it was they connected people who um, who wanted to quote unquote fire their boss who didn't like going uh, you know 45 minutes to commute to work who didn't like watching their lazy co-workers be promoted over them who just wanted more for their family or maybe they wanted to spend more time with their family or vacation or whatever and their goal was to unite these people behind one thing and that was uh, the belief that it is easy to make a presence online, promote yourself, and actually sell products just by doing that. And uh, they built it up. It's turned into a movement. I actually left the link below. Uh, they made a movie, something that's never been done in the industry before. They actually made a movie, and now these guys are multimillionaires just by doing that, just by having a vision of connecting people with those beliefs who want the same things but didn't necessarily know how to get it. They connected those people, everybody who they deal with are like-minded, and they followed them, no problem. And that's exactly uh, what you have to do. And you can tell, you can tell when you run into these kind of people because, and even their critics know it. So, you can tell by the culture that they actually created. So when you run into somebody online and you see that they're using a lot of badasses and uh, you know don't be a wussy or all in, it's in the language they use. You feel me? So you know exactly when you run into them. I swear to God, I've never seen badass used on the internet so much until this organization came along. And so their critics will tell you uh, they call everybody wussies. They want everybody to buy all of their products, so you can tell when you run into a tribe just by the way they talk, by the way they look, by w what they wear, by how they act. And that's what you have to do. Find your passion, uh, find an issue that uh, disturbs you, find, um, find something, and connect people who think like you, and start a tribe, start a movement. I actually left a few links below. I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave a link to the the report or something linking to the report about uh, the whole study about the the guy who wrote the paper about the psychology majors after the football game. So I'll leave a link for that. I'll leave a link also to the movie that I'm talking about, and um, that's about it. So there's a lot of information for you guys to go through. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll be with you next time.